Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. A while ago, I made a video about a tutorial on the paint bucket tool in Adobe Illustrator and someone asked me to do the same thing on Photoshop, so here you go. To be completely honest, I've never actually used the paint bucket tool in Photoshop a lot, so I did some research and I will tell you everything you need to know about the paint bucket tool in Photoshop. All right, so let's get started. Um, I will also cover some problems you might encounter and how to fix them. So to get started, we've got a drawing of Pikachu over here and with the paint bucket tool, we're gonna color it in. So how do you do that? Well, the paint bucket tool is uh, on the left side underneath the gradient tool. So this is probably how you, uh, how it looks for you. So under the gradient tool, you got the paint bucket tool. Uh, if you don't wanna find that, you can just press the shortcut G or you can hold shift and G to toggle between the uh, uh, tools underneath that one. So now you got the paint bucket tool. All right, so we got the, uh, the picture over here. So you will see some error from, uh, that you can't do what you wanna do. And that's because you have to rasterize the layer first. So if you click once, you'll put, you will get this notification. You need to rasterize it, so okay. And now you can use the paint bucket tool. All right, so I will also give you a quick tip. Uh, I've got like a color palette over here. You can just make one by using some, uh, what's it called? I need that one. Just make some circles, um, choose a couple colors, put the stroke off. And you can do different something. Yeah, just say, okay, cool. Now we got this one. So you got your own color palette. It's really easy to work with a color palette in this situation. All right, so we're gonna color in the Pikachu. So we got the Pikachu selected. We're gonna press G to activate the paint bucket tool. And then we just color it in. If you hold Option or Alt, you will see the, it will change to the eyedropper tool. So you can just select a color from your palette. So we wanna select the yellow. We'll just click once in the middle and it's selected and it's yellow. A couple of tips. On the top, you will see anti-alias and conti contiguous. Hope I pronounced it right. All right, let me show you what it does. If you do not have contiguous uh, selected, it will fill every color or every part of your layer where you're on without lines. So for example, now I'm actually selecting the color white in the picture and it will, yes, it will turn every single piece of white in this layer to yellow. So that's why you need to take away. So the lines will actually function as some kind of a border. So you have to be the only colors in between the borders. Uh, Anti-alias, it's kind of a, a weird one. So if you, for example, look at this line over here and I will just fit it in like that, you will see you have a little bit of a white line over here. And if you put the anti-alias on, it's kind of gone. So that's, that, so just put it on or you will have like a really ugly white line. It's, it's really hard to see. You can see that a little bit. So I would just suggest to just keep it on and it's all fluent. Yeah, that's actually pretty much most of what you need to know. So let's just color in Pikachu. So with the optional Alt key, we'll select the color from our color palette. Just keep clicking and just finish our Pikachu. And that's it. So now we've got a Pikachu and it's all good. So that's one thing. Now we got another thing because I'm... Um, was thinking about situations you might want to use the paint bucket tool and that could be if you want to make an illustration. In my opinion, I would use Adobe Illustrator, but if some people would like to draw or paint in Photoshop, then you might encounter some different problems. So I just drew a quick squirtle. Uh, I know it looks very sexy, but just don't bother or don't mind it. And we're gonna try to uh, color that in so it's already rest right we've got the colors over here our color palette and as you for example can see that's 
let's take this one if we want to select that color blue and fill that part in you will see you have a white line even with enter alias if it's if you put it off it's even worse you see that's because you have like a, a soft brush with like it fades away at the, at the edges so that's how you got it so what is a way to fix it well it's not really actually the paint bucket tool it's the magic wand tool the magic wand tool is under the shortcut w and um, under the quick selection tool and the object selection tool you will just select the area which you want to fill i do recommend to make a new layer and put it underneath the layer so this is the squirtle layer and this is just an empty layer so you're going to select the area which you want to fill and you're going to expand it and how do you expand it you go to uh, i have to where was it where was it select modify expand that's it cool so you just select it by or expand it by let's, let's say three pixels no that is too much we're gonna modify it by two pixels and then we're gonna go back to the paint rocket tool g go to another layer or to the layer beneath it and we fill it up and now you see it's a lot better what i do is let's just delete that one is you've got the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool and i've made actually a shortcut for it that is command option and x and you got the same thing and then you just switch layer go to the paint uh, the paint bucket tool and it's all done how do you put it in as a shortcut because it's not standard a shortcut or by default you will go to edit keyboard shortcuts let me just put it over there you will go down to what's it called yeah, edit uh, no it's not edit wait what was it uh, select yes select and then you got it over here and you can select your own uh, shortcut over here so i got command option x if i just delete that one it's command option x from expand and you hit OK, and then you will have, you will use that shortcut for yourself. And that way you can just fill in the rest of Squirtle, pretty much. Uh, do I got different things? Um, you got opacity and tolerance over here. Uh, the tolerance is actually well, you won't, you won't be actually needing it a lot. You can put it a bit higher. Um, it's mostly if you want if you already have a painting so let's say for example um, put that one so let's say for example I got that one over here get that one over here and we have like a blue over here all right cool so if I want to color in this green and I put tolerance let's say at 255 then it should be coloring put contiguous off it colors like pretty much everything because the range of colors is really high if you put it at for example one it will only color the green so the tolerance is actually the range of colors it will fill or yeah fill with the paint bucket tool which changes a little bit from the color you selected so now we have selected the orange over here and if you put the tolerance really high it will have a really wide margin of colors it will also uh, change then you have the opacity well pretty much opacity is just to, the way it, it will fill just a little bit just a little bit of orange it's like a you you're, you're blending two colors so if i put the opacity so let's say for example 100 and i will make this part what's it called it, it's pretty yellow and change the opacity to 40 and pick the color blue you left kind of greenish so that's pretty much it what i can tell you about the paint bucket tool in photoshop 
If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I try to read and answer every question uh, you guys put in the comment section. Uh, might take a couple days, but I will reply to pretty much every single one of them. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if what I say, if you got questions, put them in the comment section below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Subscribe to my channel, help me grow. And yeah, I'll see you later. Cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.